definitely a different truck now than it was when I got it. Over a thousand hours invested. Nineteen forty fire hydrant, totally refurbished, looking like new. I added the upper grab rail with the two lights. Also has a fire blanket. A couple bench seats left, so it can still be used as a parade unit. Chemical fire hose with a brass nozzle and a chemical tank. I screwed up the gold pinstriping on it. A couple grab rails I added to the back. I made the ladder. I couldn't find what I was looking for especially in the right length. Also found these really neat ladder brackets. Not sure what era they're from, but I know they're older than the 40s. Now that's cool. Added a few fire truck valves to it. Just looked empty without them. Found a vintage fire bucket. A couple of extinguishers. Of course, I've got some running board boxes. This one contains original 1930 gaskets for a fire truck, along with packing gunk, chemicals for the chemical tank, chemical A and chemical B, a fire suffocator from the 30s. You actually pump this like a bug sprayer into the fire at the bottom, and it would uh, suffocate the fire, pull all the oxygen out of it. The seat is from the late 1800s. It's red leather. I'm not exactly sure what it's from. I was told a fire engine. I have a hard time believing that. The chemical tank. I made that from a 100 pound propane tank. Because it's just for show, I didn't have to have that threaded pipe welded in. So it actually works pretty darn well. And a couple leather straps that are not what I'm looking for, but will do for now. A couple of the things that I need. are the proper hooks. These obviously are too new. I had a chance of buying them once and I didn't, now I regret it. This is an awesome gauge. Comes from the uh, fire truck company in Detroit, Michigan. Not necessarily for the chemical tank, but I think it looks good up there. And I've got switches installed for the lights. 
this one on? No. Okay, good. I got it off. I took the, uh, they had a 1970 style light switch, and I, I put in a vintage light switch along with a bell pull. It was a string on the outside of the truck that you just pulled. I ran it through the truck. Also installed a axe. What fire truck would be a fire truck if it didn't have an axe? There actually is two Kermits in the United States. One in Texas, one in West Virginia. Found this era spotlight. I have it hooked up and it works. But because it's so bright and pulls so many amps, it just blows the fuse. So I don't turn it on. And here's Chevy, my great Dalmatian, with a pretty cool, pretty heavy fire height pennant, and a ton of Detroit police badges and fire badges, and uh, a whistle from the 30s, used for fire, a couple of those. Put a rear view mirror up there, which is totally useless. All it does is show me the tank, so I've got to do something about the mirrors. Got a 1920s to 1930, pretty cool looking flashlight that I also added to it. It's also got, which unbeknownst to me, I didn't know we'd need this. A 1930s gas mask. May end up needing that before long. And it just so happens to sit there real well. Even this nozzle. I just rode for about 30 miles all over town. It never moved. I've got some 1908 vintage hose and nozzle. I need to get more hoses. I polished these brass and copper nozzles. These are kind of unique. A lot of people don't know what they are. It took me a while to figure it out to be honest with you. What you would do is you would wrap this around the hose and when you'd go up the ladder you would hang this on the ladder on the ladder rung carrying it up there and it would hold the hose, help you hold the hose. And the engine, you could just about eat off the engine. I haven't cleaned it yet this year. The engine's been totally rebuilt about five or six years ago. It's a straight six. Everything's very clean, including the undercarriage. Tires are in awesome shape. Won't be needing any tires for a while. Probably won't be needing any tires, period. Knock on wood. That's it.